You guys are not kidding me. Yeah. A little. A little. A little. I was like. Was I doing them all by myself? <laughs> wow, impressive. <laughs>Hey Galaxies, back with a brand new video. And in this video, I am going to the Miyavi concert in Toronto and it's gonna be great. And I'm gonna try to like vlog most of the way there. We shall see since I feel like the car vlog and the 1LK Rock concert vlog was pretty good. But like, cause the lighting in a car is just really nice. It's like really weird. I wonder if people are gonna stare at me, but I, I'm at the stop sign though. It's always, always awkward. Awkward! It looks like a security camera, I'm sure. Right now it's traffic, so it's like really busy. I've always like aimed to leave early, but then like the getting ready part takes like forever, and then I end up not being early, and then it's like a whole thing, and it's just like, why, bro? excited i think i just really like just getting dressed up because i feel like i never get dressed up and i procrastinate getting dressed up like i'd rather just not do anything but i've been like spending my days recently i've been like like actually working on my books which is surprising since i talk a lot about the idea of creating a book but writing them yeah i don't um i don't actually do it i got this scrivener template from this blogger called jen terpsa i think and I customized it fully, like um, I edited the character template and I edited the, the world building template to add like all the questions I want to have to like build my own, you know, create my own characters. Like cause the template she provided for character building is pretty basic, but I'm kind of like nut nuts and I like, I feel like shows like Avatar and the shows that I love so much, the reason why they're so good is because their character building and the world building is so detailed so developed that you only see a portion of what appears in the actual story regarding the character and regarding like the world but like you can only see that portion because all of all of it has already been fleshed out already like i just feel like that might be the case but who knows usually i play music when i drive since i'm often alone in the car and like I have this playlist called, it's like a skate playlist because I've been going skating a lot lately. Like before I had a car jams playlist, but I stopped updating that because I realized I was skating a lot and I was listening to like my top favorite music on repeat during the skating sessions. And I, that is, so now my skating playlist is essentially that. It's like the top favorite music that I listen to, so. concert but it's gonna take a minute because as usual downtown traffic is no joke no joke whatsoever pretty much half my existence now <sighs>
Anyways, I forgot to mention that I got injured from skating the other day, which is really disappointing. And it was a really bad injury, which I'm still recovering from. And it might not be healed until the next few weeks, but it can be discouraging when you like try something new and it's difficult and then you get injured and then you can't even do anything for weeks. Like, it's annoying, very annoying. You know? Yeah, but you know what? My hope is that my return, my comeback will be 10 times stronger now that I've gotten this injury under my belt. And I'll know how to be safer next time and I'll know how to deal with injuries better so that they heal faster. Reminder to eat your veggies and your fruits so you are healthy and you can recover from your injuries faster because that's extremely important. Like extremely important if you're into figure skating or any type of sport. Okay, that's it. Dr. Tia's out for the night.
愛しいと泣かないで笑って見せる
and the Japan Games performance, but we forgot to get the soccer ball. <laughs> you got it, right? You got it. <laughs> We're all kind of trying our best to make it better. Okay, so the next track we're gonna feature these ladies, Dolly and Chloe. It's such a beautiful night. nostalgic because I remember I used to listen to Miyavi so much during middle school and um, during high school so it was just really really good and I hope you enjoyed the snippets I showed and he's literally the best guitarist I've ever seen so still like he still keeps he holds the spot still like he's just he creates art with his guitar it's insane I'm like inspired by people who like really master their craft at whatever they do they just master it so well that it's just insane yeah and the thing, cool thing about Toronto concerts is that when you go see Japanese artists it's like a really diverse audience it's never just like one race you get like full diversity because Toronto is so diverse you get so many people who show up which just goes to show you know a lot and yeah it's just really cool to see everyone support different artists and the washroom there was so nasty like I'm gonna need to take several showers several showers that was ugh. like I, I feel physically sick at what I saw in that washroom mm -mm. I got a good parking spot though so that's what's most important and I left a little bit early I didn't finish the whole encore set. <laughs> See you in the next video. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> Bye.